This organization is famous and infamous for its unconventional approach to saving the world. Excuse me, but please stop killing the whales. Stop killing the whales. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be learning more about Greenpeace. Founded in Vancouver, British Columbia in 1971, Greenpeace is an international environmental group. As part of its mission, Greenpeace claims itself as the voice for a voiceless Mother Earth. Greenpeace was originally founded as a means to stop underground nuclear testing in an area of Alaska that was home to a number of endangered animal species. Though the grassroots organization failed to stop the United States from detonating that original bomb, its existence initiated a flood of public interest. The group officially became Greenpeace in 1972 after the U.S. government had stopped testing in that Alaskan region. By the mid-1970s, the organization had branched out from exclusively protesting nuclear weapons to fighting other environmental causes as well. These included whaling and toxic waste. By 1977, factions of the organization began operating across the world. Greenpeace has since evolved from its grassroots beginnings to become an organized group with offices in over 40 countries. Today, the organization is based in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and claims 2.8 million supporters around the world. Part of the Greenpeace mandate from the beginning has been to eliminate all nuclear weapons and put an end to our reliance on non-renewable resources. Its main goal is to stop climate change, and the group is credited with raising public awareness of that issue markedly throughout the 1990s. In addition to protesting and raising awareness, Greenpeace has also used its own laboratories to research and locate alternative solutions to ongoing problems. This effort has included the invention of Green Freeze, a technology for fridge manufacturing that eliminates the use of ozone-depleting CFCs. Today, over one-third of refrigerators produced are based on this technology. Funding for the group comes in the form of donations from foundations and individual supporters. A strict screening process ensures it does not receive funds from governments, political parties, or corporations. Greenpeace traditionally uses non-violent means to bring attention to environmental problems. The group utilizes peaceful protests, petitions, and more unconventional and sometimes disruptive means to its advantage. For example, the passive resistance technique of bearing witness uses the protester's presence as a sign of disapproval and is very popular with Greenpeace. The group is also famous for aggressive and striking advertising campaigns to get its point across. You can even use the scam wow to rehabilitate wildlife. Terrific! There won't be any public rage left for those boycotts. In certain instances throughout its history, some members have taken their creative protest to the next level and have wound up facing prosecution for what can be considered unorthodox and extreme actions. Despite this controversy, there is no doubt that Greenpeace has become one of the most effective and successful environmental protection groups in the world. We must begin to have respect for other life, for comrade dolphin and comrade whale, because without them, the oceans begin to die, and if the oceans begin to die, we all begin to die. 